Okay, if the saving proposition is one must believe in Jesus for everlasting life, did, then do you believe that equivalent expressions such as believing for forgiveness of sins or believing for justification ultimately point to permanent life with God in heaven or do you have to say everlasting life? I much prefer the terminology everlasting life. However, I frequently hear the gospel offered as an offer of forgiveness of sin. But there are a number of senses in which sins can be forgiven, so the person will have to make clear to me what he means by offering the forgiveness of sins when he's preaching the gospel. I don't think there are any passages where justification refers to Christian experience, but justification is not a term that is immediately clear to unsaved people, and it also requires explanation. Let, let me just say this bottom line. Uh, under the inspiration of the Spirit, the author of the Gospel of John wrote the only book that is expressly written for unsaved people. His choice of language and terminology is something we should be very careful not to depart from without good reason. All right? And if we will let the Gospel of John guide us in our dealings with unsaved people and always make sure that no matter what terminology we use, we are giving them the same concept that the Gospel of John gives them, then we'll be all right. But I find myself a lot more comfortable as the years have gone by with just uh, giving direct statements of the Gospel of John. Because it's so clear, so simple, so uncomplicated, uh, whereas in other contexts, even the concept of forgiveness of sins is very complicated because we also get the forgiveness of sins, do we not? when we confess our sins, and that isn't related to salvation at all. So we introduce a lot of fudge factors when we depart from the terminology of the Gospel of John. Why introduce fudge factors to a generation of people who be as clear and simple as we can, can possibly be, and when they get into the church, we can teach them these other things.